This video is devised to assist in the safe implementation and operation while switching traffic within a road with or without a full width hard shoulder. All traffic management, TM personnel, are to be briefed on all relevant safe working procedures, method statements and risk assessments prior to commencement of the works. The CCV technique may only be constructed using an IPV with the appropriate livery on the rear of the IPV as per IAN 187-15. Use of a convoy control vehicle for controlling traffic through guide islands at relaxation works on dual carriageways. A longitudinal run of cones no less than 800 metres between the end of the lead taper and the start of the chicane should be installed. This will form the guide island. If an 800 metre guide island cannot be installed, then an alternative method of working should be utilised. This technique is not suitable where there is an active entry or exit slip road within the controlled area. A convoy control vehicle, CCV, is used to carry out a mobile carriageway closure technique, MCCT, upstream of the lane closure to collect traffic and prevent traffic from passing, whilst reducing transit speeds through the works zone. Use of this approach provides a traffic-free window which enables a TM crew to carry out the switch and assemble the chicane. To deploy a CCV TM, arrangements need to be constructed that only permit a single running lane. The CCV assumes a position on the hard shoulder or other place of relative safety two to three miles upstream of the entry taper. If on the hard shoulder, the crash cushion will be lowered, the light board raised with only the strobes flashing and the 610 arrow will point to the right. The CCV driver should be aware of the work site location and marker post or other site location markings for the roadworks one mile sign. The CCV driver establishes contact with the TM foreman to ensure that all preparation works such as installing as much of the front wall and back wall of the chicane or switch as possible have been completed to minimise exposure time under the MCCT. Once they are satisfied that it is safe to proceed, the crew will be positioned in a place of relative safety, awaiting further instructions. When given the instruction to proceed, the driver of the CCV will build speed on the hard shoulder to safely merge with traffic. The light arrow will be used to assist with the manoeuvres across into lane 3. At the Roadworks One Mile sign, the CCV driver will raise the roller blind to display the convoy vehicle sign and activate the red X on the light board. At the 800 yards position, the CCV driver gradually reduces speed to 40 miles an hour, if safe to do so. As the CCV reaches the end of the entry taper, the CCV driver resumes contact with the TM crew to inform them of the last vehicle that entered the lane closure. This instruction must provide a clear indication of the final vehicle ahead and is intended to allow the crew to identify the start of their working window. All vehicles, plant, personnel should be parked in such a position that they will not cause an obstruction during the TM switch. If this cannot be achieved safely, the vehicles, plant and personnel should be removed from site until the switch has taken place and the TSCO or TMF on site has deemed it safe for them to enter site again. This will apply to all contractors on site, not just the TM crew. Once contact with the TM crew has been made, the TM crew will perform a final visual check and remove the longitudinal coning across the entry to the chicane or switch and install the remainder of the cone configuration. All relevant signage will be altered as required. Depending upon the distance between the CCV and the last vehicle to enter the works zone, referred to as the clearance distance, the CCV driver may reduce speed further to ensure a sufficient working window is provided. 
If when entering the work zone, the CCV cannot maintain a speed greater than 20 miles an hour due to the proximity of a road user vehicle, the CCV passes through site and installation or removal operation is aborted. The CCV passes through the work site, leading traffic safely past the newly installed setup. Once clear of the work site, the CCV driver will cancel all signs and signals and return to traffic speed in the running lane, whilst retracting the crash cushion. The redundant coning within the lane closure will be removed.